I'm going to start doing tabak, which is also called kelage, which is basically layers of filo pastry, normally with the kind of um, goat cheese filling, or you can have it also with the kind of mixture of cinnamon, walnut, crushed walnuts, and sugar. Lots of sugar. I'm going to start by doing the, the filo paste. I'll try with two sheets first. You need to do about seven layers um, at the bottom and then another seven on the top. It's not so important, you know, how they look because it's going to be baked and the cheese is going to be basically pressing it down. This is a very traditional Palestinian dessert. Um, if you go to people's homes, but also in restaurants, they make collage or mutabak and it's, it's, it captures one of the themes that we have in the book, which is using cheese in desserts. It happens a lot, and especially sort of savory cheeses like goat's cheese or sheep's cheese. They're, using, yeah, they're used a lot in, in both Palestinian cooking and in, the, and in some Jewish cooking as well. well. I think we did seven now. Yeah. We've got um, goat's cheese here and ricotta mixed together. Uh, the filling um, uh, traditionally either with the cheese or uh, just the crushed walnuts with a uh, mixture of cinnamon and lots of sugar. You can also do it with uh, much milder um, cheese like ricotta, uh, mascarpone. People didn't have spatulas and <laughs> wooden, wooden spoons. Just do it by hand. <laughs> and then again, butter. And then I'm going to continue now the seven layers on top. Just fold in the pastry so the cheese doesn't come out and also the edges when you start uh, baking them they don't burn because the, the filo is so um, delicate. And the nice thing is the, the difference between how pale it looks now and how beautiful and luscious and orange it looks when it comes out of the oven. I'm always amazed. I'm just uh, putting the, the last uh, brush it of uh, melted butter on and uh, this will also help the, the pastry to get uh, this really nice uh, golden color. So, is it good? Yeah, it's beautiful and golden and it's perfect. It's quite important to start putting all this sugary lemony syrup on as soon as it comes out of the oven. Basically you just drizzle it on and the pastry and the cheese will soak the, sh the sweetness. Then I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of uh, pistachios on, which is just crushed pistachio. Okay. Okay. This, this is ready. We just have to wait for it now. <laughs> 